So, what does taking up the cross mean? Stay tuned! My name is Zeke Matthew, and welcome to Animated Christian. On this channel, we do questions about the church as well as original content. So what does taking up the cross mean? I would like to think many of our ideas we have that have been derived from certain verses in the Bible are not an exact representation of how those words were intended to be by the speaker of those words that were in the Bible. I'm almost certain that we really don't know the exactness of the true meaning of those words simply because we were not there at the time they were spoken. That is why I present this idea to you. Jesus told his disciples to deny themselves and take up their cross and follow him. Now that verse is really one that can really push us to be like him. This is a verse which motivational speakers use to change up listeners, to charge up listeners to live a life of sacrifice. They use this verse to try to motivate people to give up their life for others. Now, I want you to pause and I want you to think like an investigator. When did Jesus say this? Did Jesus say this before his crucifixion? If Jesus used this phrase before he went to his crucifixion, then it is very likely that he was trying to get the disciples to look at what it took to become a crucified one at that time. If Jesus were to say this after the resurrection, then it would mean that he was getting the disciples to look back at the crucifixion to what took place and how we are to give up something to gain something else like he did on the cross. The timing of the phrase is the key to everything. If Jesus spoke these words after his death, then it would mean to follow in his footsteps and give up your life as he did for others. Yes, this is a noble and honorable act to sacrifice your life for another person or another cause. However, Jesus didn't say this after his crucifixion. Jesus said this before the resurrection and before his crucifixion. Does the timing of these events matter? I certainly believe it. During those days, the Roman army would line roads with crosses with people who they determined deserved such punishment. This punishment was used as a visual deterrent for anyone who had aspirations to try to conquer the Roman occupation. It was used to display those people who were sold out to overthrow oppressors and gain personal freedom. Basically, the people on the crosses were radical rebels against an oppressive military government. So, to discourage rebels, the Romans would place those rebels on crosses by the roadways. Crucifixion was also a form of capital punishment. Since Jesus said these words before he went to Jerusalem, it is most likely that this was his point of reference to his followers. His disciples had no vision of his eventual death on the cross. These weren't prophetic words. These were words to define an attitude one must aspire to obtain. If one wanted to come after Jesus, then one must not think of his own needs, but have a focus and have an attitude like a rebel. Don't be afraid to buck the system. Act like you have already lost your life and be a total believer in the cause of Jesus. Rebel against the pull of this world and live 
like someone who resides in heaven. To take up your cross meant that I'm willing to die in this world for the cause of Christ, just so I can live eternally in heaven. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.